what you guys got another video here for you on how to troubleshoot and fix windows 10 problems now windows will keep a log of every event that happens and occurs on your pc and most of these files contain details of some sort of program action or changes in settings or some sort of error or critical problem or something like that on the system so to have a quick look you can have a look in your c drive here click on c drive go up to the top left hand corner and click on the little uh, hard drive icon here and you should now see c root drive here we need to do is go to the search area and do star dot and then log and that's all you need to do push enter and this will bring up all of the logs on your computer now normally these will be windows update logs any sort of uh, things you've been running like dism or any sort of error codes or anything like that, they will be placed in here and there will be quite a lot of them. And basically you can go through here and try to find the log that is causing the problem uh, for your particular issue that you may be having with uh, your Windows 10 machine. Now these log files are essential and very useful for troubleshooting issues, which could be crashes, freezes, uh, failed uh, to open operations like programs and things like that maybe an app freeze or something like that when you've opened up an application and you can see they're full of information and this will basically give you all the information for whatever it is you're looking for uh, crash dump files or anything like that now once you go up to the top here what you can do is hit the search tab and then go to date modified click on there and this will also allow you to search by date whether it be today yesterday this week last week this month and so on so whenever you have that error message if it was yesterday you could click on yesterday and this will just show you all the log files which were created yesterday and this will be where your log file is so assuming that you've got a log file here for say for instance a problem that you may be having say with obs or your antivirus or whatever it is that you've been doing it will be in the yesterday's log pile which you can see here on the right hand side uh, the date modified is the 20th of the 11th 2020 and it will give you all the times there so you can roughly search for that time zone and date when you had the issue occurring and then look into the log file for further examination of what actually happened so for instance if it was this dism.log file you can then go in here and have a good look of what actually happened during the process when you had a failed dism uh, command when you was doing something say or you had a problem with a program it would be the program log that you're looking at okay okay so that is just searching for log files inside your pc and i think you get the general idea of how you can use this to search for particular types of problems as you can see here this is the plex uh, tuner server and this was one log and there's probably loads more logs of problems that you may have had now another thing that you can do is check uh, event viewer now event viewer has been around for a very long time and it's a great way to search for issues with your pc now i know tech scammers use this to try and convince you there's something wrong with your pc but you can actually use this to uh, find problems with your computer so let me show you roughly how you can do that so go to windows logs here open this up and you'll see an area which says application and you can also see area which is security setup and system now system if you've got a problem with your system you can check system if you've got a problem with applications you can check the application area so let's just give an example here on the system area and have a little look inside here and show you basically how you can try to find uh, some sort of errors that you might have on your system so you'll probably see there's going to be information warning and error and critical these are the ones that you're going to see so you can click on the leveling here and basically what that will do is it will start sorting them all by date and time here and then you can go through here and have a look at the critical errors or the error that might be listed here maybe it'll be a blue screen or something like that it will give you some information here which will help you troubleshoot and diagnose the problem that you're having with your system and you can also look at the date and time so try to keep tabs of date and time when you had an issue with your pc and they will be listed inside here 
So that, that is the actual error messages by event viewer. You can go to view, sort by, level, date, time, source, event ID, and also task category. So you can put this into whatever you like here, and it will sort those all out for you in a nice order here. Now, also on the right hand side here, you'll see the filter for current log. You can mess around with these settings as well and be a little bit more accurate with your searches. You can also save all your events. I click on the filter current log. Inside here, you'll see uh, the critical and error. They're the ones that you really want to concentrate. The warning is not so important, but really critical and error is the ones that you really want to concentrate on. Now you're going to see some other areas on here which are quite useful, which is event sources. This is in case you want to select a certain event source for the critical or error. You can see here there's a bunch of stuff in here which you can put checkboxes in. So for instance, if you had an issue with an application, you could then put in, say for instance, application, application hang, application error, whatever it is that you're trying to uh, search for, it will show up here when you select these event logs. Again, you've got other things like diagnostics and you've got network diagnostic here, services, you've also got disk and a bunch of other things like display. There's loads of stuff in there. If you just want to leave that as is, you can do. And uh, you've also got your keywords, all keywords. So if you want to search for a certain type of keyword, you can do. And the logged time, which is any time. So if it happened in the last hour, you can put in here, it happened in the last hour or the last 12 hours or the last 24 or seven days and 30 uh, days. And you can do custom as well. This will help break it down and help you find the particular type of error that you're looking for that you want to try to troubleshoot and try to fix. And then you can do some searches for it. So once you've found your error code, you can then click on it and it will give you more information about it, as you can see here. So what you're looking for here is the event ID and the source, and you'll be able to search for that and find, find out what is the problem with that uh, error, why it's happening to you, and try to troubleshoot it that way. Another area where you can look is in custom views and administrative events. You can look inside here, and this will also give you some information inside here as well, where you can uh, go up to view and action. You can see this find, you can go to action and find, and then try to search for something that you're having a an issue with so maybe it was a dns or something like that you can try and find some information about dns and when you find it it will list it there as you can see here and you can go find next and if you keep having issues with dns you can search in here for say for instance the event that happened and why it's happening and it will give you all the information about that event inside your event viewer which makes it quite useful for troubleshooting you can also click on this bottom one here event log online help and this also gives you more information as well about the issue. And that is the event viewer. And uh, there's other ways you can look, look for these as well. It, like Neurosoft have the full event log view. And there's also the snake nest, which is another piece of software you can use for troubleshooting and diagnosis. A little bit like event ID. So let's quickly take a quick browse at this and give you an idea of what this looks like. So you can get an idea of how you can use this software. Now, this is very similar to Event Viewer. They are free, and I'll try and leave the links in the video description for you. So I need to extract these into a folder and then run these, and you can see it's now gathering and loading up all of the information here. And you'll see them listed just like Event Time, Record ID, Event ID, Level, Channel, Provider, and also the description and so on. So you can go up here and use this just like you did with Event Viewer. You've got some other options inside here, which you can use to try and uh, find the log files that you're looking for. So let's take a look at a particular type of log. You can see here event levels are critical error warning, similar to event viewer, but it's just another way of looking at things. And you can see it gives you a clear description down below um, on the lower pane here of what it is. You can look at the event time here and click on these and it will give you more information here, as you can see here. A little bit more descriptive, I think, than the event viewer, but it's still very useful um, to help you troubleshoot a problem that you may be having with the system. You've got the right click context menu on here as well, which gives you some more information here, some properties. Also, 
uh, copy the clicked cell and clear all events and so on and so on. So you can also create an HTML report here for all the items for the selected items as well, if that's what you need to do uh, to post those to someone to have a look at. Now this also does have features like the find feature and you've got the quick filter feature on here as well, a little bit like event viewer. So you can go find and basically type in what you're trying to find. You can match the whole word. You can use uh, the use the quick filter here if that's what you want to do and do a search for a quick filter here. So we use a quick filter and you can do, say, for instance, uh, say DNS or something like that. And then do a search and it will try and find all of the DNS stuff in there. And you can put it as case sensitive and whatnot. And that should try to find the DNS in entries inside here. So it's quite useful. You can choose whichever method you like. There's plenty of them out there to choose from. Let me just show you this one as well. This is quite a useful little uh, tool, which is view reliability history. This is built into Windows 10. A lot of people don't use this, but it is quite useful at troubleshooting and finding issues that's going on with your system. So basically you can view the computer's reliability and problem history for this computer. Makes it very, very easy to troubleshoot and diagnose issues. You can see I've got some critical issues here and critical events, which is for the Plex server stop working. You can click here, go view technical details, and this will also help you uh, find out what's going on. And it will give you some information here for application path. And it will also give you some other information here of what's actually going on, which is the application name, the problem event name and the application version and so on and so on. So it gives you an idea of what's actually going on with that fault. So you can use this to troubleshoot any type of fault that's going on with Windows 10. I'm just using this as an example. And you can list these in days and weeks as well. It does come with days and weeks up the top here. You can see view by days and weeks. You can click on these little icons here, which have the red cross on them. And it will also show you some information like the Norton security.exe uh, had an issue. It stopped working. And basically you can read what's going on there. Try to troubleshoot it. Maybe look on Norton's website and see uh, whether there's a fix or problem with that. You can see OBS Studio had an issue here. Another great little way of checking what's going on. And it just gives you a little breakdown of what's actually happening on your system. Now, another thing you can do is view all of the problems that's going on with your system. There's a little tab at the bottom and it will show you all of the problem reports that's going on with this computer. And you can generally see what's going on uh, at a quick glance here. So very, very useful. And it also gives you the date and time as well. Now, also, there's a little website here, which I wanted to show you, which is called eventid.net. Now, the information that's uh, given inside Event Viewer will allow you to do a search for the event ID and also the event source. And this will normally try to find some sort of answer to your problem. Now, some people have answered their problems and listed them inside here, which can help troubleshoot in uh, finicky little problems that you might have. You'll see it down here. There's an ed event ID and event source, and you can put those into that little search box there. And it generally finds what's going on with your PC. Now, sometimes you might be lucky and sometimes there might not be no information there. It's just that type of thing. But you can use Google and try to search if you're not familiar with that issue and go to the manufacturer of that software and maybe there is a fix for it. You can see people have commented here and told them how they fixed the issue with that one I just posted in there. So very simple and easy to do and quite useful as a way of troubleshooting and diagnosing issues with your system and software. Anyway, I think that's going to be about it for this video. That's basically how you can troubleshoot and try to fix Windows 10 problems. My name has been Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. I just want to say a special thanks to all those people who have joined my YouTube members group. We've got some more YouTube members that have joined. So a big thank you to you guys that have joined as well. Your names are going up on the screen right now. Have a great weekend and I shall see you again for another video real soon. Bye for now.